28 Dubai, live here in the green zone. 1.5 Media Innovators Magazine, allied for future. We're here at Bitong with Thomas and Antonio. And I want you to tell us, first of all, we know each other for a long time, so it's no mystery. Why are you in the green zone? Why are you at the COP and uh, concrete, sustainable? What's going on? Tell us a little bit about yourselves. Yes, I mean, uh, concrete is like the biggest uh, building material. It's actually the biggest man-made material in the world. And uh, we cannot um, just exclude concrete from the agenda. And basically, um, uh, concrete has a problem with CO2 emissions with weight and with um, materials that are getting sparse. And we solve that. We have climate positive concrete complying with all norms, fully scalable and affordable, so price competitive, uh, making it 40% lighter at the same compressor strength and also using unusable sand, such as desert sand, to make it even more sustainable and viable in many, many regions of the world. Wow. That's where we are. And what role do you play? How are you here? We are doing both the international business. I was in the team before with Thomas Sievers. He's also here. He is our our developer and uh, we are colleagues who made all these mixtures uh, on. So he took also the part in his development and I have done the international business until we got uh, contact with wow. Thomas and he went into the company and now we are a great team with great guys. And now we have to scale up this business uh, international wise. Thank you so much. It's amazing because um... My foundation, Alohas Regenerative Foundation, Thomas has SDG Solutions and Vitong, and there's so many cross collaborations of people thinking about the infrastructure of the future. I'm a sustainable development goal advocate, wrote the SDGs for the United Nations, the SDG manifesto for the United Nations. Most people tend to forget what sustainable development uh, is and it's not just the sustainable development goals but a sustainable development what is that well it's the low carbon scenario it's the circular economy it's better materials it's a better way of building our built environment so we can develop humanity better cities better buildings better roads better concrete and you guys have cracked the code you crack the code on concrete, sustainably certified concrete, platinums uh, even, I, I believe. How in the hell is that possible? How can that be? Uh, it took 10 years developing and more than uh, 10 million uh, US dollars in investment for this developing. We had a cooperation with big cement producers as well because they, they want also be part of this technology. They are in, they are very criticized and because uh, the content of the CO2 emissions, 8% come out from the cement production. And so they are working also for solutions to, to use uh, uh, cements with uh, lower quantity of uh, clean care and we make it possible so we help them also we are not enemies we will find solutions we will find solutions uh, to heal the world with the part of the construction that yeah. is amazing Tell basically us. basically i mean this is like a huge team effort and it comes out of uh, long years and and that in depth experience and consulting the construction concrete and seal industry and it's uh all propriety uh, development and it, uh, it's the process. So we have IP and experience know-how in agri treatment and uh, uh, mixing concrete and then curing concrete. So it's not just one aspect, it's kind of a small ecosystem. But, um, yeah, and we are actually very proud and very happy also when you ask, well, are you doing the COP? I mean, this is a place to be uh, at this time. I mean, there's a lot of criticism about COP, but honestly, uh, the innovation part is just being totally different from any other COP I've been. I mean, it's really like trying to find solutions. I mean, basically technology, you know, costs all this 420 PPM yeah. issue we have and the 1.5 degrees that is slipping away 
And I am a strong believer in that. I mean, if we are, we're able to put like so much CO2 in the atmosphere with the technology we have today, we can probably bring some of that back down. And we just have to be very clear on, on how we want to do uh, business, how we want to do our economy run. It has to be circular. We have to get away from this wasteful linear uh, production cycles. And, and there's a lot of, let's say, uh, not theory around it, but we, life experience how regenerative production, how circular production uh, makes a lot of sense. And we are in a stage that that actually also pays off in terms of uh, pricing. So the, uh, and, and all the developers that we do, we always benchmark them into scalability, into markets, you know, the price and monthly bond And that's where we are, we are to scale in many, many countries. And so far I've received great support also from Carl. We're really happy and uh, we're very happy that you take your time yeah. and now we just silly questions. So, yeah. they're, they're not silly, you know, because you, we have to really, um, we have to make them understandable. And I think one, you know, most people probably don't know that there is a sustainable certified concrete, that there's even a norm or a standard or certifications. You guys just don't have that. You have pretty much all the certifications, all the tests and all the trials. And the biggest part of the emissions really, as, as you mentioned, and in, in comes in the clinker process where, where really uh, uh, all the emissions occur. You've solved that problem. You're working on good materials. You're working on materials that really couldn't even be used in other processes that now you're putting to use and uh, are in abundance for uh, uh, doing a lot of good things with the cement. The the last question I have for each, and I want you to both eat, uh, uh, answer this. So you've been to a few cops. We've seen each other at different cops, but it's a meme, a twist on a meme, a cup half full. I'm going to ask you the question, what is your cock half full? What's your optimistic perspective? You see all this controversy. You see people here. What's your optimistic perspective at the cop? How do you see? How do you feel it? about it amidst all this controversy. How are you hopeful going forward and, and what we've achieved so far? We hope out, out of this event what a, was a great event uh, until now, and for sure it will be the next race too, uh, that we get the contacts uh, in all markets around the world, uh, that politi political people came in and understand what we are doing. So we need support to scale up all financial institutes or private equity companies came in, uh, they want to be part of this. And this is what we expect out of this uh, to scale up very fast because we cannot do this alone and we are open for joint pension in corporations because we have to speed up uh, the, the upscaling and give these possibilities and these technologies to everybody in the world. To give it to all the construction companies to use and to, to build a better, right. more sustainable concrete right. buildings and world, yeah. We don't want to really do this only by ourselves. Exactly. We are looking for partners and we are open uh, for cooperation. There's also the uh, other technologies with combined to other technologies, yeah. Perfect. I think it's, uh, I mean, the motto is uh, call for action. And um, I have to say that this call is different, at least in the space of tech and solution. There's uh, a real strong strive to find the new way or let's say modified way to operate and to solve the problem. And I have to say that my cup is half full. Uh, after this uh, days we're here, there's another week to come. And of course, that is like a very, you know, personal perspective. But I mean, what we experience positive, I believe that good innovative companies, good innovative concepts, NGOs that work in this field, they should experience similar things. So if you combine these, I think, I think it's, it's, they call for action. I think we follow that call. And so far, it has been absolutely great use of time to be here. Thank you both for letting us inside of all your ideas. 1.5 Media Allied for Future. Thank you very much. Live here at COP28 Dubai. I wish you the best, most successful to scale COP ever. I know it's going to happen. I've seen the people in your booth. Thanks. Thanks, Mark, for this. Thanks for the interview and for your time. We really, really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you.